Welcome to the show, everybody. We're going to be talking about the DJI Inspire One. Oh, yeah. We have flown the Inspire One for over a month now. And we have important information for all pilots before buying. So far, there are three flaws to this package. The first one that we discussed in my other video, the harness. Now, this might not seem like a big deal, but it really is. A lot of the harnesses that ship with the Inspire One have been factory defective. They break really easily from the latch. Here's a tip. Pilot your Inspire One over soft grass. Try to avoid piloting over concrete. This way, if the harness fails or the radio should slip out of your hands, it lands on something soft. The second one is the quality of this carrying case. Now I'm really disappointed in this Inspire One case. It is bad quality. The straps that hold down the propellers here broke immediately. This sticker, this DJI Inspire One sticker falls off all the time. But that's not even the worst part. That you could live without. This right here is the worst part. This handle. This handle broke off within a week. Why? Because it's made out of some cheap plastic. Definitely a disappointing accessory, especially with the money you're spending on this machine. The third flaw, and the most dangerous one, the iPad holder. DJI seems to have major problems with things that fall off. You got the harness, you have the carrying case, now you have this, the iPad holder. Now, what is this about? Well, there is a screw, yes, a very tiny little screw that connects this iPad holder to the radio. And you know what? It falls out. It falls out all the time. You have to add it to your pre-flight checklist just in case, because a move like this will spiral your Inspire One straight into the air, out of control. So make sure to set an altitude limiter on your DJI Pilot app. Now, DJI, if you are watching this video, you really have to address this problem. Make it more secure. And for all other pilots, be careful. With the flaws out of the way, iPad users, this is just a reminder. You always have to have this charge cable with you in order to use the Pilot app. So remember to bring a couple of spare sync cables with you. There are a lot of positives about the Inspire One. For instance, flying indoors. The VPS is incredibly solid. And the stability of the Inspire One when hovering in the air, superb. Now the camera is a major improvement from the Phantom 2 Vision Plus line. Now, using the Inspire One camera in the air definitely beats the GoPro Hero 4. A major improvement has been on the lens. It has eliminated the fisheye. Aside from the accessory problems, this drone is top notch. 